Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Kyle, I'm the Southport Mazda Delivery Coordinator. In this short little video, I'm gonna be taking you through a few of the features and functions of your brand new Mazda. Let's get right into it. Moving downstairs to a Mazda 3 here. Now, if you have the Touring GT or Astina models, you do get access to the advanced keyless entry where you can just place your hand inside the door handle to unlock the whole car. And you can also use the keyless entry to lock the car as well, just with that little sensor just there. The mirrors will fold in every single time you lock the car. If you have the Pure or Evolve model, you can see here on the key, you got your lock and lock buttons as well. Jumping into the car. To start the engine, it is push button start on all models. So you just put your foot onto the brake pedal, button lights up green, give it a push. Starting off with the steering wheel area, you can see over there on the right, you've got your headlights and indicators. Headlights will always be preset to auto for you. On the right here, you do have the cruise control buttons. Now this particular model does not have the vision technology, but the vision technology cruising and traffic support button would end up there. There's your cruise control button there. When you activate the button, get the indicator just there. That's where the speed limit goes once you've set your speed. And then when you use this, the inner switch to adjust your distances, it comes in the middle here. And it also comes up out in the distance on the heads up display, as you can see. Over on the left hand side, you do have your windshield wipers. You just click them down once to put them onto auto. And on the left hand side of the steering wheel, you've got your answer the phone button, hang up the phone, info to cycle between your fuel economy and digital cluster volume switch, and then you've got your Seek songs there. Coming from the steering wheel, down in the middle here, there is the air conditioner system. Simply turn it on. It is the dual zone system in this particular model, which is the Turing, so you can have the driver side and the passenger side all separately. All the buttons are fairly labeled as well. So you've got your minus and plus for your fan speeds, front, rear, demisters, hazards smack bang in the middle. You do also have two blank buttons just here as well. You can see when I press it with my finger, this button switches between your inside air and the outside air. And this button is your face, feet, and windshield your directions. Down here in your center console area, you do have your hidden cup holders, which you can have open or closed, depending on your preference. Down here, you've got the commander dial for the entertainment screen, and then you've also got the handbrake. With the handbrake, you can put your foot on the brake pedal and push it down to turn it off and lift it up to engage it. Or, as long as the doors are closed, when you engage gear, it'll automatically turn it off. And when you turn the engine off, the handbrake activates all by itself. As I just mentioned, to use the entertainment screen, you do have to operate the controller here simply just by rotating it to go in between your menus and you press it to select. Down around the controller as well, you do have your four shortcut buttons. You do have your home button, music, back button, and your navigation button. This is how you can quickly navigate between the screen. And over on the left, you do have a volume controller with also your favorites. Starting off with the entertainment screen, you can see on the left hand side of the screen, it's giving you the prompt to press the controller to bring up the menu. So you give it a press. This is how you can cycle between your source list to switch between your radio modes and your Bluetooth. 
also how you can access your station list. And then you've got your tuner controls and your manual tuning so you can program the stations in yourself. Connecting your phone is super easy as well. When you're on the home screen, you've got your communication icon just there. Just select that. The car will detect that there's no Bluetooth device connected, so you would just hit connect. And when you hit continue, just make sure your phone is on your Bluetooth menu and is ready to pair to a device, and your device will come up on the screen once the car detects it. And then you just follow the prompts on your phone. Moving into the next menu, which is the navigation menu. Here is the car's built-in satellite navigation. To use it, similar to the radio, you hit menu with the controller, brings up your navigation menu this time around, hit add destination, and from here, you can choose what you want to search for. You can search for your points of interest, like your petrol stations, restaurants, ATMs, and other categories. You can memorize home and work into the car as well, so you don't have to type them in every single time. And if you just want to search for a generic place or address, you just select search and use the controller to type in your address. The last menu to showcase is the settings. The settings is how you can go through and alter the settings of your vehicle. In vehicle displays is how you can configure your settings for the in-screen displays. You can adjust the brightness of your screens, your gauge cluster, and you can adjust the brightness and also the height of your heads up display. Sound settings is how you can change and alter the speakers in the car. If you have the Astina version, you will get the Bose surround sound stereo system. Safety settings is how you can adjust all your safety features. You can turn things on and off. You can adjust how sensitive things are as well, like your blind spots, your lane support, and all of your emergency collision braking. And if you have the vision technology, you can also adjust the sensitivity of the 360 cameras. Vehicle settings, you can adjust your convenience features. If you have the Touring model and above, you do have access to the keyless walkaway auto lock. You can activate this if you want to. You can change the sensitivity of the headlights. You can change when the doors automatically lock, whether you're driving or if you just put the car into gear. Connectivity settings is how you can add and delete devices out of the car through the Bluetooth system and also the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems. And the last menu here, your system settings. This is how you can configure your language, time and other general settings. If you do want to use your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems, you do require your phone cord for this car. And you can see down there you've got your two USB points. If you plug your cord into the top USB point, that takes priority over the system and that's how you can project your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto systems onto the entertainment screen. When you use your home button, music and your sat nav buttons, that'll open up your Apple home screen, Spotify or Apple Music, and then you've also got your navigation which will bring up your Apple Maps, Google Maps or Waze depending on what you use. As mentioned earlier, when it comes time to turn the car off, you just put her into park, and when you hit the engine button, engine turns off, handbrake comes on, and you're ready to exit the vehicle. So there you have it. That's a video on the features and functions of your brand new Mazda. Congratulations again. Please make sure to leave a like and a comment down below of what you found useful in the video. Also, just let us know how you're going with your brand new car. Let us know what you love about it. My name is Kyle. Congratulations again from all of us here at Southport Mazda. Welcome to the Southport Mazda family.